A brief video today on 1977's Julia, directed by the legendary filmmaker Fred Zinnemann. Based off of a story, allegedly true, told by noted playwright Lillian Hellman, Julia entails Lillian's friendship with the title character, assisting her in smuggling funds into 1930s Germany. Julia is involved with underground groups trying to destabilise the Nazi regime. It is an affecting tale of loyalty, love, loss, all those things we tend to seek in an emotive drama. Lillian is portrayed by Jane Fonda and Julia by Vanessa Redgrave. This film is worth seeing for this legendary collaboration alone. But the film is also worth seeing due to its fabulous production qualities. It is a vivid period recreation supported by Zinnemann's expansive evocative direction and consistently fantastic photography. This is courtesy of cinematographer Douglas Slocum, who, who had previously photographed, among the notable, Seth Holt's A Taste of Fear, Joseph Losey's The Servant, Roman Polanski's The Fearless Vampire Killers, and Ken Russell's The Music Lovers. His most recognisable work came later, however. He acted as director of photography on the original Indiana Jones trilogy. In some ways, Julia's narrative is nothing completely innovative or inventive, although it is quite involving at the best of times. I decided to share some excerpts from critic reviews of Julia, contemporary and retros... Actually, I believe these are all contemporary, excuse me, which I'm reading from Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Roger Ebert believed, It's awkward the way the movie has to suspend itself between Julia, its ostensible subject, and Lillian Hellman, its real subject. Vincent Camby states the film has nothing to do with the Hellman flintiness, guts, self-mockery, wisdom, above all, impatience with Kant. Dave Kerr says, It's all in good, in such good taste, or it's downright stupefying. And then there is Becky Balin, who declared, referring to the protagonist Lillian, Julia shows us the first woman in memory sexually coupled and on par with her lover, intellectually, creatively, and morally, referring to depictions in cinema. All interesting, ob interesting observations. Most of the positive write-ups were not extremely interesting, except for Balin's. So that is Julia, one of, probably one of Zinnemann's better films, if not certainly. There's a lot to admire in this one, to be sure, in my opinion. Good stuff. Good stuff.